Thank you, everyone. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about APIs, and we're also going to be seeing a live demonstration of how we can run a globally distributed API infrastructure on AWS. So before we start, we really have to recognize the current time period where we live in. The world has changed and is changing in front of our eyes one API at a time. We're transitioning, obviously, from a pre-API world to an API world. Everything that we do, the business that we run, it is, at the end of the day, powered by an API. API is the interface of our business. And the APIs allow us to cater to new use cases that we're building. AI is one of them. I like to say the more AI, the more API. It is how AI communicates with the data and the services that we want to make available. And in order for us to be successful with this transformation, we must have an API vision that we execute against. If we do have a vision for our business, we must have a vision for APIs. I mean, look at AWS. AWS wouldn't have been possible without a vision for APIs. And typically, to go from a pre-API world to a successful API world, we need to have a few pieces in place in our API vision. It starts from the developers. It starts from how developers are building, creating, and designing APIs. We want to make our developers self-service in the way they build new APIs and in the way their developer pipelines is connected with the API creation and testing phase. Then, once we have APIs, we need to have a gateway in place, a gateway that allows us to expose APIs as a product with a product lifecycle, either internally to other teams, other applications, or externally at the edge for any client, any use case that we may be building. And then finally, some of our APIs are going to be served by microservice-oriented applications. And for these applications, we need to have a secure, observable, and fast network overlay that we can deliver through a service mesh in order to be successful with this change. It doesn't matter how good our API infrastructure is if the consumption of that infrastructure is zero. The value of API infra is being given by the consumption. So all of these components, the infrastructure components, and the developer experience component, they're all necessary for a successful API vision. Then, once we have all of these in place, we need to have a single pane of glass where we can manage all of our APIs that are emerging from the meshes and from the gateways, one single pane of glass to manage all the configuration of our infrastructure and what type of boundaries and guardrails we also want to put in place to still own the security, for example, the security and the observability aspects of our API infra, and yet give a degree of freedom to our teams to innovate and move fast. And then finally, we want to have something that allows us to scale our API governance across all the teams in the organization. Every team is an API team in this new API world. At Kong, we serve this API vision with an API platform. An API platform that delivers the API developer experience with Insomnia, that delivers the gateway API management experience with Kong Gateway, and Kong Mesh for Service Mesh. And then finally, that platform is being delivered in the cloud with Connect. Connect is our single pane source of truth for all the gateways and the meshes that you are provisioning. And it is what allows us to iterate in our API vision, because it gives us that visibility of knowing what are all the APIs that we're running in the organization? Without a control plane like this, we are navigating in the dark. We are blind because we don't know what the teams are doing. So today, we're going to be seeing a demonstration of Connect, by the way. Now, when it comes to every transformation, including the API transformation, it is all about reducing complexity. It's all about doing more with less. And so, in order for us to run a modern API infrastructure in the cloud on AWS, we also must reduce complexity. We must reduce the costs. We must decrease the risks. And we must make our API infra as easy as possible, as self-service as possible for every team that's consuming or publishing APIs in the organization. Let's make an example. Let's say that we want to deploy 24-7 API infrastructure 
across the world. People-wise, we have to staff for a necessary team that is going to be in charge of maintaining the uh, uptime and reliability of our API infrastructure across the globe. So for example, if we assume that uh, we need three SREs per region to follow pretty much the 24-7 in each region, and we multiply that across uh, both regions and we add some redundancy, we see that people-wise, the costs are very um, expensive just for the people that allow us to maintain this infrastructure. Being able to reduce costs, reduce complexity, and deploy global API infra as quickly as possible is critical in this day and age. So what if? What if we could reduce costs by 10x, not only on people costs, salary costs, training costs, but also infra costs? What if we could deploy dedicated API infrastructure that has the same ease of use as a serverless API infrastructure? And what if we could do that with Kong Gateway, which is the most adopted gateway in the world, open source? We do that on Connect thanks to this new offering that we are about to ship early next year, available as a tech preview today, called Dedicated Cloud Gateways on Connect. With Dedicated Cloud Gateways on Connect, we can use the Kong Gateway that we all know, with all the plugins that it has, all the ecosystem of Kong, and run it in one click, dedicated in the cloud across any region where you need to have that API infrastructure running. It supports a one-click global provisioning, we can choose the cloud, the region, where we want our gateway infrastructure to run. And in one click, we can provision it in a dedicated way. Dedicated means that we're not sharing this infrastructure with anybody else. It is yours. And it has to be yours, because APIs are mission-critical components of your business. And therefore, API Infra is mission-critical as well. It has to have the same reliability and performance of dedicated with the ease of use of serverless. Dedicated Cloud Gateways on Connect supports two different modes of operation. We have what we call Autopilot SaaS, which means we can choose the regions where we want to run the gateway, and Connect will automatically deploy the right amount of resources to always cater to the live traffic that you're handling at any given time. So this is auto-scaling built in with um, uh, upscaling and downscaling based on live traffic. It's extremely easy to use. Or we can run in custom mode. In custom mode, we do have a little bit more uh, flexibility into determining how we want to run our API infra. So we can choose not only the regions, but we can also choose how many nodes and what type of nodes, small, medium, large, we want to provision based on the use cases that we want to cater to. Are we doing heavy transformations on the API layer? Then we will need uh, higher provision instances to cater to those transformations. Or if we don't have that, we can go a little bit lower. And therefore, with custom, we have full predictability on the costs and full predictability on how the API infra is going to run. All of these runs with private networking built in. We can run a dedicated cloud gateway uh, on Connect in a way that is as secure as if you are running your own Kong Gateway on your own AWS account. We support Transit Gateway to create a secure link between our cloud and your cloud. And you can support different Transit Gateway attachments for different regions that you decide, decide to use with dedicated cloud gateways. And then finally, there's a lot of capabilities we put into this, into this new feature. Uh, we also ship an edge global DNS, which allows us to have a globally reachable DNS that will target all the regions that you have decided to use. And we'll do that based on live latency and performance metrics that we capture in such a way we can always redirect your customers to the closest edge location that you have decided to deploy. And then finally, Dedicated Cloud Gateways works in addition to hybrid Cloud Gateway, which is the mode of operation we already support in Connect. With hybrid, you can use Connect as your global API control plane, and then you can start your own data plane gateways or meshes in a self-managed way in your own infra. Therefore, you always own the traffic but the management of that global infrastructure is done in the cloud. It's the best of both worlds. You own the traffic, yet you can use the cloud to manage it. 
So I think it's time to see a demo now and see how we can use this capability on Connect. So to do that, I'm going to go over my computer and um, let's wait for, the, for Connect to show up. So this is the Connect dashboard. Connect is the global cloud control plane of Kong where you can provision gateways and meshes to pretty much cater all API use cases you have in the organization. Of course, infrastructure is only part of the story. We also provide products like developer portal and analytics and so on and so forth to have a full API lifecycle in the cloud for your organization. So today, we're going to be focusing on provisioning a dedicated cloud gateway cluster. And to do that, we will go on Gateway Manager. In Gateway Manager, I can create multiple virtual control planes for each team or each application that I want in such a way that I can segregate both the configuration of my API infrastructure and also segregate the infra that is running on these virtual control planes. We would create a virtual control planes for each team, for each application, and everything that you see in the GUI can also be fully automated with APIs or declarative configuration. So all of these can be fully automated in your CI CD workflows. So here we can see that I have a few control planes, um, and I can go ahead and provision a new control plane. And if I do that, I can choose Kong Gateway. When I provision a new control plane, um, I assign a name for that control plane, and then I choose how I want my gateways to run. Do I want to manage them myself in a self-managed way, or do I want to use dedicated cloud gateways? If I choose dedicated cloud and I click next, the next step is a very simple wizard that allows us to choose what version of Kong we want to run, how we want to run it, and then finally on what regions we want to run our infra. So for this example, I'm going to be choosing a staging environment, um, I'm going to be choosing some regions like Ohio, uh, one node, and then perhaps uh, another region like Singapore, two nodes, for example. And then based on this, we will provision a default network that you can then later configure with a private networking attachment using Transit Gateway. This is it. In one click, I can provision global API infrastructure on top of Kong Gateway, and then Connect will do all the heavy lifting for us. Of course, now the cluster is being provisioned. I came prepared, so I do have a cluster already running, which allows us to see how we can start using Connect on top of our, um, our uh, new globally distributed infrastructure. So I do have this uh, cluster here called the AWS reInvent. This cluster, I provisioned it the same way you have just seen. And here I have, basically, I'm covering the whole world. I have nodes in uh, Singapore, Ireland, Europe, uh, US and, uh, and APAC. And once I have my data planes running, I can go ahead and choose how I want to manage my services. So in this case, I have a, a service called HTTP bin. But let's do this. Let me create a new one, which can still point to HTTP bin, so I can show you how easy it is to create an API and make consumption to this API. Uh, to do that, I am going to be fetching the base URL of HTTP bin. There it is. I'm going to be creating my service on top of Connect, on top of that cluster. And then once I do that, I'm going to be creating a route. And this route is, being called, is going to be called um, hello, for example. And um, we call it hello, hello route. And then my hello route can point on slash hello. So if I do that, we're making our HTTP bin API available on slash hello on top of our gateway infrastructure. So I can go ahead and I can save. And then once I've done that, I can connect to this cluster. And to connect to the cluster, I can click this Connect button. And Connect will present us with a public edge DNS that points to all the regions, as well as it will present us with specific regional addresses if we want to go straight into one region. Of course, when I provision this cluster, one of the settings that I have uh, configured was to make this cluster publicly available. So the clusters that we provision, they can be public. They present with a public uh, DNS that we can consume. Or they can be private only. So this can be been also used for entirely internal API usage of the gateway. And so if I go back and consume my and try to connect it to my cluster, and uh, I copy paste this URL, and then make my, my request, we see how this request is going on our Cloud Gateway dedicated infrastructure. 
the public edge DNS. It's parsing that slash hello path. It's associating that to HTTP bin. And then once I do that, I can proxy to my APIs. So of course, this is a very simple example. We could have one or a thousand or a million APIs and a million routes configured here to cater to all the requirements that we have. Now that, now that I have this API, uh, let's go and make things a little bit more interesting. Let's go, for example, and apply plugins that will allow me to enhance how the traffic uh, is being managed, the traffic that goes through this gateway. And so among the many plugins that Kong has, there's plugins for pretty much every use case. There's plugins that also you can create. Um, I can go ahead and choose the rate limiting plugin. And if I go ahead and enable my rate limiting plugin, and I say that I want no more than five requests per minute, and I go ahead and uh, point to my uh, let's see, uh, everything is, is being configured. I can actually point to a specific, um, um, to a specific, um, I, it can be global, it can be for a specific route. Let's do it global now. The plugin is being created, the rate limiting plug plugin is on, and so if I go back here and I connect again to my cluster, or I can just refresh here, uh, and I start making a bunch of requests, eventually the gateway rate limiting plugin will go into effect and the rate limiting will stop me from making new requests. Of course, this is a simple example. There is a lot more that can be done. But I hope you have enjoyed this presentation of dedicated cloud gateways. I truly believe as, um, you know, I've been in the API business for a very long time as the co-founder of Kong. And I truly believe that we made something that was very easy to use, Kong Gateway self-managed, even easier with Connect and one-click provisioning. Um, this is. Um, the end of my presentation and the end of my demo. Uh, what I would like, uh, what I encourage you to do is to click and scan this QR code. By clicking on this QR code, you can sign up on Connect for free. And then from there, you can start using all the capabilities for gateway and service mesh that we have available and do that in one click. Thank you so much.